Hi, welcome to WebShape. My name is Chris Williamson. I am the production detailer and an installer here. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the tension on your roller tube for the web light shades. This is an example of what we call creeping, and that's when the roller tube has too much tension on it. So you see when I push it down, it comes back up on its own. In order to fix this, you're going to have to take tension off of the roller. And to do this, you'll unroll the shade, remove it from the bracket plates. Don't forget to place a tension pin back into the hole. Remove the shade, take a pair of vice grips, clamp them on to the drive pin, remove the tension pin, rotate the vice grips counterclockwise to release tension, place the tension pin back into the hole, you can release the vice grips and place the shade back into the brackets. Now as you can see, the shade no longer creeps when it's down all the way. You can see right here, when the shade bunches up, that means that there's not enough tension. Now I'll show you how to put more tension onto the shade. Pull the shade and Play, replace your tension pin. Remove the shade. Grab your vice grips. Attach them to the drive pin. Remove your tension pin. And you're going to turn it clockwise to add tension. Once you've rotated the drive pin, replace your tension pin. And replace the shade. In the course of adjusting the tension or installing at any point, something like this may happen. That sound means that the the spring inside the roller tube has lost all of its tension. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to put that back on without doing it manually. So, remove your shade. Let's be insert the drive pin right into the chuck of your drill. Make sure that it's going forward. When retensioning the spring, a good starting point is about 25 turns. And then from that point, check the shade again. And if you have to, adjust it by hand with the vice grips like I showed you earlier. 